Now see here, in the principle of superposition only, if there are n number of charges are present in the system, suppose like Q1, Q2 and Qn, then the total force acting on any one of the charge that is suppose Q1 we are taking. So we can write here F is equal to F12 plus F13 plus plus F1n. So total force on the charge Q1. So we can write here also F is equal to Q1 Q2 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught R12 square R12 unit vector plus plus 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 Qn divided by R1n square R1n unit vector. So, we can write also in this form S is equal to, we can take common Q1 here, 4 pi epsilon naught sigma. Here we can write here Q1i divided by R1i square R1i unit vector where i is equal to 2 to n. So, this is the total force acting on the charge Q1 due to the presence of the n number of the charges. So, this is also here according to the principle of superposition, we can calculate net force acting on any one of the charge due to the presence of other charges. So, now let us take an example here, which is based on the principle of superposition. Suppose there are three charges placed at the vertices of triangle A, B and at A, B and C, these are the charges Q, Q and Q, all have the positive sign and Q and Q. Side of this triangle, sides of this triangles are suppose L, L and L. There is third charge placed at the centroid that is Q, we have to calculate net force on this charge. So, what is the force experienced by the charge Q placed at the centroid? So, this is actually based on the principle of superposition. Now, we know here in this triangle OA is equal to OB is equal to OC. Triangle is equilateral. And now, force on O due to A can be written here this is your negative uh, positive and this is positive so that is a repulsive sign here that is f o a force on o charge q placed at o due to b is equal to this side that is f o b and force on charge q due to c due to the charge placed at c that is f o c so there are the three forces here f o a f o b and f o c now, we have to calculate the net force. So, we can take here, I will be, I am making this, this diagram in the here, in this way. Here, I have taken FOB, here FOC and here is FOA. Suppose, this is here taken X and Y axis, X, X dash and here Y, Y dash. This angle is 120 degree, this angle. So, when we make here, this angle will be coming here 30. So, here this is 30 and this is 30. We can write its component FOB cos 30, FOB sin 30, FOC cos 30 and FOC sin 30. These are the components of the forces. Now, we can solve along the x axis. So, we can get f x is equal to total force along x axis is equal to f o b cos 30 i cap plus f o c cos 30 minus i cap. Now, here we can write f o b is equal to magnitude of FOC is equal to here, FOA is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q upon OA square. 
So see here, O A O B O C are equal. So therefore, the forces, all this, the magnitude of the forces will be equal.